DD214 Gaming Podcast is for mature audiences only. Any videos, music, or entertainment not originating from DD214 Gaming is used and covered under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, also known as Fair Use. Opinions expressed are our own and do not represent any DOD or U.S. government entities as a whole. This podcast is for entertainment purposes only. Viewer and listener discretion is advised. You are no longer alone now, because we have you. We're back, baby. We're back. We're back. We're back. How's everybody feeling today? Oh, good morning, everybody. Feeling pretty good over here, man. How you doing, John? I feel fucking great, man. It's beautiful. It's uh, like 45 degrees outside. I haven't seen no snow. Everybody's died in the snow except me. Right, right. I've yeah, been we, yeah, we, in we, real we estate in the room. How you yeah. doing? We ain't got no snow out here either. Freaking Kansas City's uh very fucking brisk today, but it's uh it's like it's like cool but not cold. Does that make sense? So it's like a per- it's like perfect temperature. It's like you know like like mid to, mid mid to upper forties. You know what I mean? Like where it's just like it's cool, but you're not like freezing cold. You know what I mean? Yeah, kind of nice. Kind of a nice, just a, a nice January Sunday. You know what I mean? Sweater and shorts. Sweater and yeah. shorts. Shit, you might you, honestly if you're not outside for like. Too terribly long, you might be able to get away with a t-shirt. I went out earlier. Uh, I'm just wearing like a long sleeve tee with a with a t-shirt over it. That's all I got on. I didn't even wear a sweater out this morning, so yeah, you know, is what it is. Fucking a. How was your guys' week? Fucking, would you guys do anything? Like, like, what, what y'all went up to? I what? Well, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, John. I bet. Well, I started the journey of getting the new PC. So new really? PC will probably be working in the next. We some somewhere between the next five to ten episodes. A new piece. Yeah. So you don't have to go too, too terribly into detail, but like I'm I'm functionally illiterate when it comes to like this this tech stuff. So like when when you say like you're you're in the process of getting a new PC, I'm assuming does that mean you're like building your own and like get, like buy different fucking parts and shit? Is that, is that yep. Kind of like- yep. So to break so so to break it all down really oh. quick and to, to to put it into infantry terms. Uh, I'm buying. I'm, I'm buying the. So I'm looking at the parts. I'm getting suggestions from from Schoolini here. I'm picking out some that I feel I'm comfortable with, but I'm also getting the suggestions like maybe you shouldn't go for this. Go for this one instead. Uh-huh. Da, 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 da. I'm also, you know, also doing a lot of reading, getting a lot of outside sources from the homies too. Uh huh. Oh, uh huh. You know, and trying to figure out. You know, try, but mostly. Feeling out what everybody else is using. What what are you using today? What are you using today? Does it work for you? Do you have any issues? So it's a lot of like, you know, a lot of that, you know. And and I grateful for our good friend tech guy here for you know kind of giving me a lot of that insight. Is is the is the final is the final product price 
when it's all totaled up, is it is it going to be cheaper or more expensive than say like just going to fucking Best Buy and getting a like a goddamn regular I, laptop? With accessories, I'm dropping four thousand dollars. Okay, but what 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 is your uh what's the what's the, the 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 shelf life of these things like how how what do you get like how how many years are you getting for for four thousand dollars? So, so not including the accessories, if we just look at the PC itself that huh? is going to be built. We're around about 3K. Okay. I want to say when I bought this laptop, it was like fifteen or sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah. And that was just so, like out of Best Buy. You know what I mean? Some shit like that. So yeah. please, please continue, Joe. My, my apologies. So, please continue. With that, here's the thing. Technically, the shelf life isn't a you can't really with with PCs with towers nowadays, you can't say, okay, it's only good for five years. So, say the components that are going to be put into the PC are going to be good for the next five, six years. However, wow. in that time, if anything needs to be swapped out or changed, you can do it. You can do it a lot easier than, say, buying a laptop that's good for five years and then you have to buy a whole nother fucking laptop. Right. Which is right. Right. I think I'm on like year, so, three, re, year three right now. And because I, I don't download a lot of apps or anything. And I basically just functionally use it for like the internet and uh, storage of certain like, you know, files or, or, you know, pictures, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But like, I'm on like year three, it, this laptop's still doing me good, but I've noticed there, there's already like starting to like show signs of like decomposition. Okay. You know what I mean? Decomposition. Like, <laughs> yeah. Basically, I mean, is that, is that not what it fucking is though? I mean, I, I that's like, that's so, what it, yes. Like, um, it, it's, pro it's product obsolescence. So like, Somewhere down the road, like I'm gonna have, I've got two laptops in my fucking storage that have shit on them that I want to get off of, off of them, but the laptops are dead. So like, I'm gonna have to take, like, I still someday have to like take them to a shop and just see if it can be salvaged. You know what I mean? And it's, and that's bullshit. That's bullshit. But go ahead, Joe. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So, so for instance, um, back in August, I built a new PC for myself. I only spent a little over half of what John's about to drop on his. The reason I did that is because, A, I build PCs for a living. So if I need to swap anything out, it's a lot easier for me to do that than it is for, like, John or right. UJ. Right. Um, so I spent 16 k on mine, about 17 and I'm already looking at upgrading my processor, upgrading the graphics card, stuff like that, just small little things, because at the time I was trying to save a buck where I could save a buck. What do you get? Like, what do, what do you get for all that though? Like, like, what is it? Like, what is the, um, you, uh, you guys, you guys obviously use your computers for a lot more than I use mine for. Yeah. Now. Like what, like, what is it? What is the need, I guess? Or what is it that you're, you're, you're using all this stuff for? Like, like, is it, is it gaming? Is, is it mainly gaming? And then, or what else? Gaming and content creation. Yeah. For, for both of us, pretty much. We use it for the same thing. Um, between the podcast, between playing games, between streaming. Record recording recording more if you know, streaming. Yep. Um, so there's there's a multitude of different things. I think with my setup altogether, including the PC, just this set section of my office that I sit in on Sundays when we do the podcast I've got about 15 grand worth of equipment Jesus what did that out later That's so, so, uh, so Joe doesn't get fucking robbed okay no. I, <laughs> you know and, and it's it's very it's very interesting you know this is a whole new world for me I've never dropped yo 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 good morning big grizz I see we got Des uh, Dylan Mason in the house too. Dylan's uh, driving, so uh, please please drive carefully, Dylan, and drive safe carefully, man. Safe travels to fucking Iowa. Yes, sir. Yeah, dude. It, this is this is a whole interesting new world for me because I've never dropped this much on the PC. And when I had this conversation with my wife, I was just like, you know what's about to happen? You know what needs to be done? And she looked at me and she was just like, well, your taxes are done, so you enjoy go. yourself. Fucking a. Fucking you know, a. So so we we already know what's going on, but man, you know I'm pretty excited. Other than that, this year that this week I picked up another issue of Snowpiercer, uh, the graphic oh, novel yeah. that was in, that inspired the TV series and the movie. Uh, what's, this, what's that about? What's it about? I'm so not I'm not familiar, and I I'm not very 
Yeah, I'm not plus seven. So no. all the rich people destroyed the world by trying to fix global warming. Huh. And the world goes through an ice age. And so okay. this this rich motherfucker named Wilford builds a train that travels around the world on one track. Okay. And it sustains itself. It has it, it has over 1,001. It has 1,001 uh, train carts in it, right? Yeah. And it has... 1,001? 1,001? 1,001. And we're talking about a a story that talks about class systems. Rich, kind of rich, poor, and then poor as fuck. But the poor as fuck are not even supposed to be on the train. They they jumped into the train when the apocalypse happened. Right. <laughs> so every, every, everyone's fucking dead, okay? And So, like, the only people living are on the train? The only people living on the train are on the train until... You read more of the story, then you find out that there were ve- there was a one percent group of survivors that lived that survived the ice age. Now that would have the- yeah. So and that, and, and it build it, it builds the story. You know what I mean? So the whole it's it's a it's a great story. There's a lot of family themes, but it's also like what the fuck were these people thinking to build a train that only takes so many people? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it, that sounds very. Did you say there was a fucking movie? There's a movie starring Chris Evans in it, which came out years ago. Is it? Good? And, was, it was it good? Or, it's good. Or, have you guys seen it, Joe? Have you seen it? I haven't. I've, I've. I keep hearing about it. I keep having people say it's a must watch for a lot of people. I have yet to actually watch it. I don't know how how this fucking like flew under my fucking radar. It sounds compelling. It, it it's very, compelling. it's very compelling because like, this is a story about what people, what the, what the people in the back of the train will do to survive. We're talking about a civil war. We're talking about class systems. We're talking about fucked up people. We're talking about rebellions, revolutions, and the thing that intrigued me the most is, is the overall world itself. A train, one train. Traveling around the world. About how many people are on the train? Like ballpark. About ten thousand. That's it for humanity. Yeah. And for then humanity. One, and then one percent survival rate. So what's what what's one percent of like seven billion or eight billion? Who's that like fucking eight hundred eight hundred million? Something like that. Probably. Like that? Is that about Joe? You wanna fucking math check me on that shit? Is it eight hundred million? One percent of fucking eight billion? And we're talking about an ice age with modern buildings, right? You know, covered in ice. You know, so it's a very compelling Wait, story. Um, 80 million? 80 million? God damn it. Why do I suck? It's like, my brain just, like, sucks now. This is, this is why we were in the army, guys. This is why yeah, we were in the army. Exactly. I can't fucking math good. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know. But, yeah, so anyways. Yeah, so, 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 we're, so the train itself, um, if... As long as the train keeps on running, it can sustain itself. Now, there's there's regular uh, living quarters. There's engineer cars. There's you know like the Titanic in the bottom where you have the things that run that run the that make the train 80 million. Run. Eighty where, million. Where's the? It, it is 80, 80 million? Thank you. Thank you. Eighty million. Yeah, I was like I was like wait a minute. Eight hundred million is like close to a billion. So you want to see a map? You want to see a map? Yeah, I was wondering like with like the track like how like do they lay track like and circumnavigate the globe with track or does it like does it that's, it, that's exactly what they did they circumnavigated the world with tracks okay and what's so interesting about this i'm about to show you the track right now i'm about to show you the whole yeah. track you have like definitely like pe- peaked my curiosity with this one like i'm i'm somehow this fucking movie and and graphic novel like absolutely like slipped my radar freaking so there you go that's oh, wow track. so they can go anywhere yeah so the train itself has a farm has a farm train where they harvest where they where they breed animals to for for food okay. they have obviously security they have a military in there uh politics and everything and yeah this is this is the track this is the whole with, track with, with ten thousand people with ten thousand people maybe more there could be more it sounds a little complicated it sounds like they're like a little a little a little over complicated for but you said a thousand and one cars, though, right? Thousand and one cars. Uh, Dylan Mason. How how long is that? Does it say how long that train is? I'll 
I'll find it right now. Dylan Mason says, do they got rail railroad workers? I mean, with that cold temp, you'd have rail break. Sorry, rail railroader. I'm in me coming out. <laughs> That's actually, listen. Sounds like he's, he's driving. It sounds like he's doing like text to talk. Yeah. <laughs> drive safe, Dylan. Seriously, drive safe, dude. Rican. I'm actually going to be, uh, I'm going to be in Iowa, uh, this weekend actually, uh, for, for a short stay. So I think he said earlier he was, uh, he's in somewhere in Iowa. Oh, so yeah, I'm going to be going, I'm going to be going to Iowa, uh, later this week, uh, it looks like. So, so yeah. Yeah. They're saying it's close to 10,000 passengers on the train. Uh-huh. And how long is the snow here, sir? They say that each, according yeah. to the, the train is 10 miles long. Okay. That sounds, I was going to say that sounds, that sounds like, uh, kind of like based on your description, that sounds about right to me. Like, yeah, it said, and yeah, so it's, it's actually, it's, it's really fucking cool. So, um, I highly, I highly suggest it. It deals with, uh, with, uh, how many graphic novels are there or how, how long is that story? All right, so I have one left. So there is, so there's the prequel, which talks about which part one extinction and part two apocalypse. Which those two those two graphic novel issues deal with before the ice age. Mm -hmm. Why why did it happen? Who were the people that were a part of it? Uh -huh. And then the last three, which is the escape, explorers, which is when you find out there are survivors out there. Mm -hmm. and Terminus, which is that last issue right now. So, I mean, there's a lot of themes here. Cannibalism oh, is yeah. another theme in here. So, I mean, it, great story. And the last thing that I did this week, mm -hmm. I jumped into the VR yesterday. Oh, okay. And well, I played something cool. I play, Well, first off, I played Gun Club VR, okay. and Daddy still got it. <laughs> Still, I still, shooting, got, still, still shooting expert on the range, John. If I if I could if I could get this footage for you real quick, uh, oh please, I, I would I would love I would love to see it, dude. I'd love to see. I it. I love I love I love I love uh, watching watching you uh, fuck shit up, dude, in real time. It, it's always it's always it's always fun for me. I don't know about everybody else, but it's always fun for me. I keep forgetting this thing is called the Meta Quest. So I played some Gun Club VR. Um, there was a massive update in the game, which I was like, oh shit, all right, cool. So now with um let's see gallery. Come on, baby. Oh, oh shit, yeah. We do got it. We gotta save to video. Uh, Dylan Mason said uh, he's in north he's, he's gonna be in northern Iowa, but we're we're gonna be uh we're gonna be a little bit uh south of uh Council Bluffs, Dylan. So we're not gonna exactly be in northern, but then again, Iowa's not that big of a state either. So we'll see we'll see we'll see what we can do, maybe. We'll see what we can do. Okay, no promises, but we'll see. And if and if we can't do it this time, we'll do it uh, next time. That's like, uh, did you see uh, John? I met uh, I met uh, uh, the Norse wrecker. I saw it, man. That must yeah. have been a good time. It was. He was passing through. He uh, came and came and uh, came and caught a Chiefs game uh, a couple weeks ago, a couple weekends ago. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we met up. And uh, you know, for for any of our listeners out there, if you're if you're uh, if you're passing through the Kansas City area, hit us up, dude. Like. Uh, we love uh, we love having company here in here in Missouri, dude. So we we love uh, we love hosting and we love drinking beer. So uh, you guys come and come and say hi, dude. Anytime, y'all are always welcome. So yeah, what you got, John? All right, I got the footage. Wait, wait, it's sending. It's got like one bar left. Now, first off, let me talk about Gun Club real quick. If you want to shoot guns in your home, mm -hmm. don't shoot a gun in your home. Get Gun Club VR. About to show you why right now, folks. I want to see this shit. I'm about to put it up. Do 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 do. Ba 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 da ba ba ba. All right, so here we go. So this is the footage right here. You can't hear anything because you know it, it's the whole. There we go. Got the weapon. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Look at you. Bam, Look at you. Bam. Look at you. Oh, good job, John. Look at that, man. Just... Look at 
Look at that. Smoking. Smoking. I'm a fucking gangster, bro. You guys don't fucking know, all right? I'm gangster as hell, but, but yeah. Um, H to the motherfucking K, homeboy. Oh, wait, I think I got another one for you. Hang on. Oh, we got more. We got more. Like, you can't see me in, in these ranges. Now, in real life, I can't probably can't shoot for shit. I'd probably... <laughs> if, if I shot the way that I was shooting in this game, my nose would be fucking broken. Okay? That... That uh, C that CX nineteen, whatever the hell that weapon is, that shit would have uh, came flying right back at me. Right, Boom! Right. You know, I would have gotten my ass kicked. But you know, such a fun game. Uh, but yet, uh, the real reason I went into VR yesterday uh -huh. was I had to fix my Steam VR because I was having issues. Because there's some like kind of issues with MetaQuest going into Steam VR, some latency issues. Too easy fixed. We played the Hitman trilogy VR, ladies and gentlemen. But like Agent 47 Hitman? Agent 47 Hitman. You could play oh, the man. whole the whole trilogy in VR. Mm -hmm. Okay? What? It is incredible. The game is now on Game Pass. And for those who don't know, if you are using Game Pass PC, Game Pass Ultimate, if you have it for your PC, some of your games are VR compatible. Microsoft Flight Simulator... Among Us is now VR. You can now play that on Game Pass on VR. Interestingly wait, wait, enough. Wait, back up. Flight Simulator? Flight Simulator on VR. God fucking damn it. <laughs> One of my favorite games, which I reviewed, I'm No Man's like, Sky VR. I just want to fly, John. I just want to fly. You just want to fly, right? I want to fly. I just, I just want to fucking fly. I want to, I want to, I want to like traverse the earth, you know, with a, with a bird's eye view, go visit some places that I've been, visit some yeah. places, that, visit some other places I haven't been. You know what I mean? And I just, oh, I just want to fly. And that's actually funny because Dylan Mason said, I fired up the VR, flew some F-14 jets. There's actually a free game on Oculus that you could just fly jets in the game. But yeah, you could play Microsoft Flight Simulator. And when I found out that, 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 that game pass as hitman vr hitman vr i was like the fuck i need to play this i need to play this so absolutely so first off the, so i mean the issue there are some issues um the some of the graphics i guess like when you're going from oculus to steam vr now hold remember on, hold on hold on i first off how good are you how stealthy are you john uh it, not that good. I, I need some practice. Uh, need come some on, practice. John. I need oh, some. Oh. Let me well, let me tell you what happened. All right, when I first went in, first off, you start when you start off the Dubai level. Uh huh. You start off on the side of a skyscraper, and you're in VR, and I'm standing there, and I'm okay. like, and I'm yeah. like, and I'm like, oh, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, here's like, another thing. I get like sick. when your testicles just like shrink back up inside. I felt it. Body, I felt it. Like, like, I was standing on a beam on the top of a skyscraper, <laughs> and first off, there's no teleport in this, so you have so to walk use, across that beam, Ranger. You have to walk use across that beam. Use, back up um, you right. have to use locomotion, which I'm not good at because of motion sickness. But I had to make it work. You're I had beating, to make it work. You're beating it, John. I'm beating it, John. You're believing. You can do it. Now, I did it. Now, going in, now, it took me about an hour to figure out why I couldn't get out of camera mode, so I had to restart the game about six or seven times because the Oculus, remember, Steam VR has its own Steam product, right? So the buttons sometimes get a little confused, so you have to go through some of the properties and change the button schemes and stuff like that, but once you get that, it starts working. But once you're on that beam, you go in, you change your clothes. I started walking around, right? And this lady bowed to me, and and I'm like, okay, well, I just thank you. I just want some fucking water, you know. So I take the water and I accidentally swung my arm and I smacked her in the face. Oh god! And she fucking in the game and yeah. she flew back so far. And next thing you know, everyone's like, Doo -doo -doo. the the fucking I I become notice. I'm like, oh fucking great, son of a bitch, you know. So then that happened. So then Ben Davies, what's going on, my brother? Welcome Even to the show. Man. Hey, Ben Davies, dude. Always good to see you, man. Our, our one of the one, 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 one,
Ben, 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 Ben. My man, Ben. My man. Across the pond, all the way across the pond, spends his Sunday evenings with us. Almost I've been looking. Day. Like I've been looking for you, mate. Fucking cheers, mate. Fucking cheers. Oh my Chuck god. We, I swear to God, dude. Like one of these days, I'm gonna get a passport because, like, I I gotta make it. I gotta make it to the fucking the aisles, dude. I have to. I, I I've I've never. I've the only time I've ever been to fucking Europe has been like, and I'm fucking I traveling won. on my way to or back from Afghanistan, right? And like fucking there, there's so much fucking like rich, like history and culture there. You know what I mean? Like, and especially with the British Isles. Oh my God. Like, like that's going back to my, going back to like my roots, basically like, like, like my ancestry, you know, essentially like 214 does England. Yeah. That's what we I'm saying, to. dude. We have to, can you, can you fucking imagine like doing a fucking, I, I know, I know it's not an English thing, but like, can you imagine doing like a shoey in London? <laughs> I'll fucking do. I'll do a shoey in fucking London, dude. Like no fucking no questions I asked. Do so crazy ace, crazy ace TV is calling me out. What he says? He's cha- he says John keeps changing the background. Is it you or wife telling to keep moving it set up? Man, I am so indecisive. And it's funny too because Fulini called me out this this morning. He was like, "Where's your green screen?" And I'm like, "I'm not pulling it out." <laughs> that's okay. Wait, that's I, I. That's what. That's one of the things I love about what we do is like. A, A, we go live like 90%, 99% of the time. And then B, you know, we, 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 we keep tweaking little things just to like, just to see kind of how it works, how it feels. If it, you know, if, if it's, if it's good, we keep it. If it's not, you know, we, we toss it next week, next week, you may see me in Tobago, just say it, but yeah. So, so to, to make it quick with Hitman three, right? Yeah. Tell me, tell me more about like the kill so, part. Like I want to, I want to hear about the violence. Like, is it, is it like. Can we can we can we get to the violence? Oh yeah. So when you get to the well, I, other <laughs> other than smacking the water lady in the face by accident, you know, John beats women. Like, <laughs> oh, listen, vir- virtually it, it virtually it did not feel good. All right, it did not feel good. He does it in VR environments in real life. He gets beat by women. I I felt so bad that I smacked this lady in the face, and then like, then when I'm trying to figure out the game, I jumped over a balcony by accident. And I, fe- and I fell right down to my death. <laughs> that sounds like that sounds like a VR like a like a VR game. Like it really sounds that really well, like now now that part. You know, like yeah. Now that part got me sick, falling because oh, was, because it was a long tunnel. Like because remember you're at the top of a skyscraper and the building in Dubai has a giant center and I just what throw up. I did not throw up. I did not throw up. Uh, but not to the killing. When you finally get a handle of it and you finally start sneaking around, you're looking around and you're just like, okay, mm-hmm. okay. I've pushed my target off a building. I literally, I grabbed them by the neck. Fucking like, A. Legitimately. Fucking A. And in that moment, I told myself, I, ha- I do have a dark side. I, there is something in me that's not supposed to be here. And I grabbed his neck and I started flinging him around and I threw him out of the building. I flung his ass. I Mickey Mantled him all the way straight to fir- to first base, man. He was <laughs> fucking Mickey <gone>. Mantled him. <laughs> I got I I dude, I fucking slayed him, dude. I he was done for that dude. Fucking A. Fucking A you did, John. Now welcome. Jesus. Welcome. Now everybody saw it. So then it came to a point that I had to pull out a gun and start shooting, which yeah, what's kind of weird. Yeah, now you're running, gunning, and all that bullshit. How that now, goes. I'm, now I'm starting to get sick because now I'm running my ass off trying to survive, and I'm putting bodies in freezers. Um, I I'm running up to to random civilians and putting a cable around their neck and throwing them. You, see, you know, J- uh, John, you sound like the worst assassin ever, dude. Let <laughs> me tell you something. <laughs> Hitman trilogy VR. <laughs> Just for the play, just for the play value is getting a solid nine inches out of town. Ah, okay. Just, just for the fact that you can literally like just John, the perfect example of Kermit's dark. Ker- <laughs> John's the perfect example of the Kermit meme dark side. Good side. I can't do it. Dark side. Stop being a bitch. He's right. That's right. That's exactly right. That's fucking. So seriously, nine inches, dude. That's like, 
That's like fucking scrambled ovary size, dude. You know yeah. what I mean? Like no, the only reason, like yeah. it in your guts. You know what I mean? Like now, the only reason why I didn't get ten was because there are some issues with it. You know, once you get like, bless you, once you get some of Thank the, uh, bless you again. Thank you. Once you once you go past some of the graphical issues, like trying to port the Oculus controllers to Steam VR and whatnot, and once you get past like some of the weird stuff, like the hand does this weird like. Like twisty thing when you're inside of it, so there's something. Is that kind of why you um? Is that kind of why you uh, um? What do you call it? Uh, is that is that why you accidentally like hit the hit the lady at the beginning? Was it like an accident? Was, yeah. Was, was that like related to that basically? Yes, it was because I was and I thought if I kind of just like swing my arm around, but no, I swung it and boom, you know, yeah. uh, no craziest. I have the two. I have the two. I I actually I love it. I love it. Um, but yeah, that was probably one of, probably one of the best, the funnest times I've ever played in a VR game, you know, and That's not awesome. get, not get as sick, you know, now there are, you know, you're what you get, there, get you're getting yeah, there. Once you, once you figure out the buttons and once you, or everything, like you won't have any issues, but the you game wanna, is fun. You want to hear a funny story from when I was in the, when I was in the army, dude? Oh shit. So like, we were on a fuck, we, we, we were, we were, we were in the middle of a fucking FTX. It's probably like at least a week or two. Yeah, but part of the part of the FTX was doing um, what not exactly touch and goes, but it's like you know loading, you know inserting and loading onto a Blackhawk. Yeah, and then getting flown, you know, to wherever, and then fucking getting off the Blackhawk. So the the main part of the training was getting on and getting off the Blackhawk. Right, that that mm. was the main. Well, we're I was at Fort Carson, so you know there, there there's terrain, and they do this thing called like you know mapping mapping the earth. Is what the, is what I think the term is, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And you fly very low, very low to the ground, and in, and then at Fort Carson, there's a lot of you know, uh, it, it's mountainous, so like there's like some small canyons and stuff. And I told this fucking pilot, I I, I talked to one of the pilots before before we fucking went on, because I had a bunch of fucking like new guys with me, like a new a bunch of new fucking privates. Oh and I was, shit! So I talked to the pilot, and I was like, "Hey man, fucking, I will buy you fucking, I will buy you a meal anywhere." Anywhere in Colorado Springs you want to go, if you can make one of these guys fucking puke, like I shit you not, dude. Right? And this mother, this motherfucker, like he took the challenge. So you're like, dude, this motherfucker took the challenge. Like he fucking, he tried. He legit tried. That was the most fun I've ever had in a Blackhawk. We went fucking like head first. There was like this fucking hill. Okay, we went head first at it, and then like he did this thing where we like we went straight up and then fucking like straight down it was like being on a fucking roller coaster like i had to put my hand up on the ceiling because like i was coming out of my seat and i laughed this i i laughed so fucking hard dude i was laughing my fucking ass off dude i was like that was one of the most fun times i've ever had in the army and like because this dude like he took the pepsi fucking challenge dude and he didn't give a fuck and we didn't give a fuck you know like we're in the infantry so it's like if the dude the pilot fucks up it's gonna be quick you know what i mean like so whatever you know what i mean like and like we did our fucking we did our touch and go no privates fucking puked no privates puked though like that's like but but boy did he fucking try he fucking took that challenge and like i like that was one of the best fucking like memories i have like in in almost 12 years of the army is like on that black hawk dude like mapping the earth and like going on a fucking roller coaster ride from fucking hell, dude. Like, and for this, this dude was trying to make the fucking the, the kids puke. You know what I mean? Like, good for him. Fucking good for me. Fucking, uh, I think Joe's back. Joe, you back? You back, yeah. Joe? Fucking, how was your week, Joe? Tell us about it. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, refill my coffee. How was your week, Joe? So you know, typical fucking bullshit week. Work every damn day like normal, but got to keep grinding. Um. Outside of that, got back, streamed one time this week, trying to get back into the fucking motions of something there um, with the streams and stuff. Outside of that, you know, works now looking at fucking starting to send me on fucking business trips and shit. Supposed to be going to Florida at some point this year. And now fucking within the next fucking 30 days, it looks like fucking Boston in the middle of fucking winter. Outside of that, uh, disgusting, disgusting. Of course, the Jersey guy doesn't like Boston anyways, so. I'm a Yankees fan. 
But I thought uh, this to it. But what? so wait, wait a minute. Why Fuck the Yankees? What? Fuck the Yankees. So wait a minute. Why? Why did? Why did they choose to opt to send you to somewhere further than closer? Oh, well, look, very noir. Actually, actually, the thing is, from where I'm at with a flight, it is the exact same amount of travel time to where work is sending me in Florida and where work's sending me in Boston. So there's no difference in, say, travel time. The only difference is they're going to send me to fucking Florida when it's hot out. Like, I mean, Florida's warm year-round, but I'm talking in the middle of the fucking summer, I'll be doing a fucking week-long trip to fucking Florida. And in the winter, they're sending me to fucking Boston for a fucking... Disgusting. Just absolutely disgusting. But you know what's uh, interesting? I want to send him to Boston at a time when there's no fun happening. What do you mean? There's no baseball. There's no fucking... Well, what's, what's he going to do? Walk the Freedom Trail? He's going to walk the Freedom Trail? Look at Fallout 4? Uh, uh, walk the fucking Freedom Trail in the wintertime. When the fuck do you think the Revolutionary War fucking happened, bro? <laughs> Listen, it was fucking snowing, bro. What's that famous ass picture of George Washington crossing the fucking river? Or whatever? The Potom- that was the- on fucking Christmas, bro. I said the fucking Potomac. Fucking Potomac. Was it the No, that wasn't the Potomac, though. No, I, I said uh, Potomac like a fucking idiot. Like the uh, uncultured uh, swift in the night. Hey, man, we're all fucking. Listen. We're all, we're all, we're all, we're all, fu- we're all functionally. Went to the man. army. Sure. I didn't go to college, all right? Yeah. It's not, it's not your fault, dude. It's not your fault. Like, I just, I just want to say too, Jay. I've tried to hit. I've, I've tried to get these fucking these text things up, but for some odd reason, them it's not letting me. It's letting me. Yeah, if you if, if you can write if you can write the captions, man, you might have to do it, man, because it's not letting me do shit. You're the caption guy today, Jay. I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm doing okay. Fucking does everybody else think I'm doing okay? Fucking. What I'm talking you're about. Doing, dude. You're doing what you do, Jay. Thank you. Doing what you do. <laughs> right. Right. Um, outside of that, started playing uh, Pokemon Violet on the Switch, and let's just say, right now that game is a two out of ten inches. Oh, what? Oh. Like a, gummy, a gummy worm, bro! I didn't even gummy worm. That's like an extra belly button. I didn't even expect that out of you. What? Joe Joe has a bad rating for a game. Over for right? being oh god for being a fucking Pokemon game. The reason why the amount of bugs and glitches in the fucking game right now are horrendous. I'm gonna have to just be quiet. For once, I'm just for gonna have once, to be quiet. Nintendo and Game Freak dropped a fucking game as if they were trying to pull an Ubisoft or an EA and not fully fucking complete it. I, I two two out of ten. I'm I'm I, I'm I'm gonna stay out of this one because you guys already know I, I'm like that's just gonna I'll I'll end up going off the deep end, dude. Fucking talking about a fucking copy paste game that fucking has comes out like un, uncompleted, unfinished, and fucking with way too many. That's exactly why I'm a fuck. Yeah, I I I feel like I could be like in your guys as well. I really I really I really feel like I could, I could be in your guys's realm as far as like gaming and like being into it and having it as a, as a, as a legitimate like honest to god hobby in my life except they all fucking suck and and it and it like and when i hear joe that that dude that breaks my fucking heart you and i know you you i see i miss the little pokemon thing but i know it's a it's big for your like your your portion of your your portion of our generation so like to hear you i know you wanted to play the fuck out of that game i know you wanted to fucking play it like and, and i and the thing is i'm still gonna play it i'll i'll the, fight through the fucking glitches and shit yeah yeah, it just it annoys the piss out of me because no shit. I'm a big like the reason I always na- gravitate to Nintendo is the fact that they always put out completed works, at least their main IPs. We talked Mario about that. What was it last? Was that, was that last week or the week before? We just had a conversation about. We that. just had a fucking conversation about it. It was yeah, I think it was last week or the week before somewhere yeah. there. Um, yeah. Exactly, Crazy Ace. When it's when when there's no glitching happening, when you're not in a spot where there's a glitch or a bug, 
the game's a good game. Don't get me wrong. I'm giving it a 10 or a 2 out of 10 right now. Once they fix those glitches, there's potential the score goes up. Um, Because Nintendo's even admitted to it. Game Freak's even admitted to it. They're working on bug fixes and patches. However, it's still kind of, when you spend $70 for a completed fucking game, you expect the game to fucking work. Yes. And I know Jay goes on this fucking rant all the damn time. That's Violet, right? Right. What's- so Scarlet and Violet both are having the same issues because they're the same game, just a little bit of like every fucking. Poker. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a little di- I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little diagram with our reviews. Yeah. Um. Like. So. So I mean, that's the thing is it's a good game when you don't have those glitches or bugs happen. It's just disappointing because, like we talked about several weeks ago, and I've already stated. Most of the time with Nintendo's main IPs, Zelda, Mario, Kirby, fucking Pokemon, the games come out and they're working and they do what they're supposed to fucking do. It's the basic fucking, everything works. You mean like, you mean mean like, you know, like you're supposed to get what you pay for and fucking not have to worry about it. And yeah, yeah. Huh. I actually have a, I have a question real quick. Um, Jay, do you have a switch in your household? No. no. Okay. Well, never. My next question is invalid then. <laughs> now, I will say with that though, I did also finally pull the pull the trigger and started playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Um, which is very fun. Is technically, the first Pokemon game that was released on the Switch, and it was kind of them collabing with Niantic, who makes Pokemon Go for mobile phones. To give a Pokemon game that was like Pokemon Red and Blue and Yellow from back in the day, but with some of the Pokemon Go type of aspects. So, in most Pokemon games, you encounter a wild Pokemon, you battle them, you've got to deplete their health points to a certain degree before you can catch them. In this game, you run into a wild Pokemon and you just lob fucking Pokeballs at it until it fucking decides to stay in it. Um, with it, I do like it because it's, it's a copy and paste of a nostalgic Pokemon game, one of the originals, um, to a degree, there are some changes in the story, like Pokemon Red and Blue, the main characters are Red and Blue, or Ash and Gary, where in this, you're like the next generation. Exactly crazy, Ace. I like Pokemon Let's Go, but then at the same time, I don't like it because of some of the... Uh, game mechanics. How you doing, Ronnie J? Happy Martin Luther King Eve, sir. Ronnie J's in the house? Holy feel like, fucking shit. Crazy A says, I feel like battle should still be the premise for capture. God damn it, yes. Exactly, because here's the thing. So, so you capture the Pokemon, you're still able to get experience points for the Pokemon in your party. Um, however, you don't get that many experience points when you just capture the Pokemon. So the, the main way you're leveling up your Pokemon is when you get into those random trainer battles that happen in every fucking game where there's some random ass motherfucker that sees you and it says, yeah, we, we locked eyes. Let's fight. Um, but it, it's, it's decent. It's, it's decent. There's some aspects that are definitely off-putting because it's not the way I'm used to Pokemon games. Yeah. But I think yesterday I spent maybe 12, 13 fucking hours just grinding on that game. Which means you, at a bare minimum, you, you you liked it enough to fucking play it that long, yes? Yeah. Is that, is that what I'm understanding? So Yes. So, so what? So what's, what's your number? number? Yeah. Rating, yeah, what's the final rating? I'm curious because I when I, re, when I reviewed this game, I gave it a 7 out of 10. I'm going to give it, I would say, a six and a half out of ten. Makes sense, yeah. And it's mainly due to the difference in the game mechanics. Did it, I mean, did, did it, um, did the game, me- in your opinion then, the game mechanics fucking took away from the gameplay? Is that is that what I'm understanding? Yes. So it lost, it lost points. John, is that why you 
subtracted yep. a couple points the, from the exact the exact same reason. Okay. Fair, the I mean, exact same reason. Fair is fair. Fair is fair. Yep. Fucking A. Fuck and now A. and now. And now what? <laughs> now, and now exactly, it's... Ronnie J. Fucking Pokemon Go is a pitching simulator. So <laughs> <laughs> with for instance, with Pokemon Let's Go, you have to use this one fucking Joy-Con, which is just technically half a controller, to play the game. Because when you go to throw a Pokeball to catch one, you actually use this motion control to catch them. So, like, if you throw it just off kilter, like, do this just, like, slightly to the left or to the right, the ball goes left or right. And it's it's literally, you're getting a fucking arm workout playing a fucking video game. Right. Like, just turns into a fucking pitching simulator. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I like pitching, not catching. I When I play, I played baseball for 10 years in my youth, and uh, I the two positions that I played was uh, pitcher and first base. I was a pitcher and a first baseman. I was a pitcher, too. Yeah. I was a pitcher. I was a pitcher and an outfielder. I ran right on. Right on. Fuck yes, NA. Sir. Right on. Well, and then in outside of that, y'all don't get fucking married. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Are we are we having are we having second thoughts, Joe? No, no. I'm I'm joking on that part. Uh -huh. Um there's just some drama on the fiance's family side with <laughs> she's trying to find fucking <laughs> Betty Walker sucked. Fucking her sister's throwing a hissy fit. Her parents are calling her a bridezilla. Oh, that's fucking awesome. That sounds fucking pinary fucking dramatic. That sounds I might just that sounds like a destination meeting because that sounds beautifully dramatic. He said we're gonna have a destination wedding. Yo, let let's go let's go let's go to that, Jay. Let's go to this let's go to the destination wedding. Dude, hold on. Yo, have a destination wedding and like let and like me and John can crash the fuck out of it, dude. Like so like so let me let me just throw this out there. Like where 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 the ideal location for her was is Wilmington, which is the coastal area in North Carolina. Oh, okay, nice. Her family said a three and a half hour drive to go to the wedding is too far. What the fuck? And that nobody would show up. So yeah. That's why I stepped away, because, like, through my headphones, I heard her hollering on the phone at her mom and dad. Oh, my. So God. I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? He's like, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go assess the situation at the moment. Uh, it's like, no, that's when you, like, when you go out to, like, the, 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 you know, the garage, you know, or go down to the basement and just fucking put on some headphones or, you know, you can't. You know, like like work work on your woodcrafting skills or something, and just like whack. You can't you can't step in the way of love, guys. No, not at all. Like, yeah, have have fun, have fun getting married, Joe. Have fun getting married. Hey, if you do have a destination wedding, you do some like crazy like satanic ritual wedding. Me and Jay are there, homie. Oh, dude, that's like, dude, that's like, we'll, we'll, that's... we'll come in dressed in cloaks and everything. That's a fucking Tuesday, bro. What are you talking about? Like, come on now. <laughs> Come on now, fucking. That's actually the only dead set. The only dead set guarantee is my ass gets to wear a fucking kilt. Oh, oh yeah. remember you can't wear nothing under it. Hey, what's your uh? Do you uh, do you have a uh? Is there a particular clan that you're related to? So it's it's the the thing is I do like a, for me. Are you Scottish? So I don't have Scottish in me. I'm doing it more honoring her heritage. Well, yeah, I don't see Scottish in you either. I just, you know, do you want some? I don't see. I don't see, I don't see anyone behind you. Yo, hey, Joe, do you want some Scottish in you? I've been inside of a Scottish. Do you, I mean, if you want some inside you, you can have some. Just let me. No, know. I'm good, Jay. <laughs> I understand twenty bucks is twenty bucks, but nah. <laughs> oh, who, who says anybody's getting paid, dude? Like, <laughs> gotta at least buy me dinner first. <laughs> Hey man, you're an MP, dude. I'd just be paying paying the whole fucking the MP core back. You know what I mean? Oh shit! <laughs> For all the trouble the infantry causes you, right? <laughs> all right, no more talk about uh, you know casual uh, sexual violence. So uh... <laughs> exactly, Ronnie J. That's the thing. Like my whole thing is like I've got 
my my senior lead at work and my boss have already said, just let us know the date and send us an invite. We're there. And they're Missouri and fucking Jersey. And then, you know, our best friends live in fucking Tennessee, six and a half hours from where we live. And they're, you know, we're there. Just let us know the date type of thing where, you know, family that lives fucking 45 minutes up the road. Oh, no, three and a half hour drives too fucking much. Jesus Christ. It's a fucking, we- it's a wedding. It's a wedding, okay? Let me, oh, I, gotta, Hang on. I gotta drive a little bit. Oh, whatever you you can do. Tell me. My vagina. You, the- you don't want to hear that? You don't want to hear that? God damn it. I quit. You guys fucking, see? You guys fucking pissed off John again. See that, Joe? You guys pissed off John. Why is why is John the fucking angry one? Why is John bit? Why is John the angry one right now? That's like that's my fucking stick. See, just see, see what you see what you did, Joe. You see what you did? Like, why? You... Weddings, weddings are beautiful. I've only been to like two of them. Right? The turns have cables. I've only been to like two oh weddings God. in my life. I need to go to more weddings. I need more weddings. I need to go to more weddings. I'm already married. I'm not gonna have another one. I need to go to more weddings. Dude, John, we, John, we should fucking crash this shit anyways, dude. Like, we should fucking just crash it anyways. Like, I'll figure something uh, out. We'll figure hey, something out. Hey, I... I'll just... Do you get married? When are you planning on getting married, Joe? I mean, it's it's a while out. It's I know. Be, that gives me like, plenty of time. September, October of... Oh, oh that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, what was that part of the lambs when he's like, he saw like the, the, the girl's dress size. Like, oh, well, first perfect. off, first off, you two motherfuckers aren't going to have to crash it because you're going to get invites anyway. We're going to crash it anyway. That fucking takes all the fun out of it, Joe. Just kidding, like, how can I crash a wedding and I'm invited to? Then to- how, how are we supposed to have DD214 content yeah. if we don't crash the wedding? I can't exactly act like an ass if I get invited because then that means like I have to like, behave responsibly in, or some shit and like oh come on dude well, yeah i know and behaving responsibly is so above the fucking infantry <laughs> hey my hey, boy my, the offer my, for uh, having some scottish in you is still on the table joe just uh, like, <laughs> um so wait a minute uh, i let uh justin natal jersey that actually um justin natal is the first person i ever smoked weed with so shout out to justin natal uh ramon Acunino. Ramon he said, welcome welcome why that that's crazy ace oh my bad my bad dog why do you need more weddings i need more weddings because i need to party i need cake okay i need to I need to dress nice i don't dress nice enough but i, I need i need cake good cake expensive reason- Expensive nine hundred. How to crash a wedding you're invited to? We need to just fucking, have an entire deep I'm gonna, fourteen series about that. I'm gonna get into a fucking three piece suit, look better than every other motherfucker there. Okay, I'm fucking, I'm fucking whining, I'm dining, I'm fucking styling, profiling. Okay, fucking, Woo! I, I goddamn fucking watch cost fucking more than your house. Okay, I'm looking so goddamn good. Everybody in there wishes they was me. That's why I need to go to a motherfucking wedding. And Brits, Sean is on the same fucking boat as me. I ain't been to a fucking party in a while. Okay, I need a reason. Parties, a parties. Reason. Okay, my 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 local corner bar is like the dregs of the dregs. Like you guys have no idea. Like, when, <laughs> like, like, really, like, like my corner bar is like filled with like ex cons because it's like a safe place. Oh for shit, ex cons to go right. It's a great little fucking hole in the wall. Fucking beautiful fucking part of Kansas City, let me tell you, okay? But, like, I I, I want to put on a fucking suit and tie and go fucking, and go fucking, and go, like, just go ham on a beautiful evening when two people and the love of, and, the, and the love they have for each other is celebrated, okay? I want to fucking, I want to fucking wine and dine with the fucking best of the best. Sometimes you need a night like that, and it's fucking nice to have it. It's nice to have that. Yes, know? it is. And now, while we're at it, how was your week, Jay? <laughs> well, shit, man. My week was, uh, my week was... We're just having a good old time today, and there's no alcohol involved. Yeah, well, there not is. on my end. Yeah, there is. Berry Noir by Boulevard. Boulevard fucking at Boulevard Brewing Company out of Kansas City, Missouri. This is Berry, Berry Noir. This is a uh, sour... I love you. That's right. I fucking I love you, too. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyways, no. Um, well, I don't know. Uh, it's inbound. The only, um, the only, the only real review I have for the week, I think all three of us kind of have like a, uh, a kind of like a triple review for. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We save that for last if you want. Well, I was gonna say, do you want to? Do you want? Do you want to roll into? Uh, do you want to roll into? Um, the Roadhouse. Gay's Roadhouse. And I can tell you about that since we're talking about three piece suits and fucking looking good and shit and all that. Like, all right. Do you want to do, do it? Let's do it. So Let's fucking do it. Here we go. If that's if that sounds squealini. Do it, Joe. How you doing, Pilgrim? Been a couple of weeks. Your old pal Jay's back. We took some freaking, we took some time this week to have some adventures. So let's share them now. How about it? All right. Fucking A. Fucking A. So. This week in the Roadhouse, Jay and his beautiful girlfriend, Nikki, uh, actually went to the fucking symphony a few nights ago, if you can believe that. Uh, we went to the Kansas City. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. No fucking joke, dude. We uh, we went to the Kansas City Symphony, uh, and we saw a performance of the Fountains of Pines. Excuse me. The Fountains and Pines of Rome. Okay. Um, that was, that, that, that is a complete symphony. All right. Prior to that, the, the kind of the opening performance, um, there was a, uh, prior, prior to this, the symphony itself, um, there, the opening was a, there was a, a performance of, uh, Garages of the Valley by Mason Bates and a violin concerto, um, uh, by Mozart. And there was a special guest performer. And this young lady was fucking amazing uh, doing um, these violin solos that she did, okay? And I don't know how many of you guys are out there that enjoy classical music or if you, you know, if, if you enjoy like, I don't know. For me, for me, when I listen to, to a lot of classical music, a lot of times I can close my eyes and it kind of, it takes me places or my imagination is sparked or it just helps me kind of like decompress. I don't know. Uh, I've listened to classical music from time immemorial in my life. I don't remember how old I was when I, when I realized I first started enjoying it, but, uh, me and, uh, me and my, me and my beautiful lady, we got to dress up a little bit and that was kind of part of the idea too. And so we were dressed to the nines freaking dressed to kill. And, um, we went to the, uh, Kansas city, uh, Kansas city symphony, which was at the, uh, the Kaufman center for the performing, uh, for the performing arts here in, uh, downtown Kansas city, Missouri. Um, beautiful, beautiful location. Um, everybody was wonderful. The performance was amazing. By the way, that symphony, John, the fountains and pines of Rome, there was a, uh, goddamn guys like the, the, at that there's the, at the finale of the, of the symphony, they put trumpeters on the, on the deck, basically like John, if you want to go back to that, uh, the picture of the empty, uh, the empty stage, if you can, um, Go back to that picture of the empty stake, but they put trumpeters on the deck, basically, like almost like in line with like where we're standing, and they were playing down into into the bowl. Yeah, so they, the trumpeters, if you see, not not where the seats are, but above the seats, that like that middle row, and then no above like to, above and to the right and the left, all, like all the way over there, over there, a little higher, a little higher, a little higher, right there. They were like, they were on that level on both sides. And then where that harp is, or excuse me, not the harp, the uh, where the piano is in the middle, they had trombone like trombones on either side of the piano. And the flourish, the last five minutes of this fucking symphony, there is a there's a flourish, and like so everybody's like playing down, and the trumpeters are fucking playing 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 from above, and the trombone and everything was going, and it was fucking magic. It was music magic. Uh, Jay highly recommends. Listening to fucking classical music, any type of classical music that you like, um, I, I, I want to encourage everybody to get cultured, okay, and and better yourselves every day. That and that that can be in a multitude of ways. Um, as I as I continue my transition back to uh, regular civilian life, um, I'm I'm finding that uh, it's good to get into hobbies and things that I haven't always had necessarily the time to do in my life. So one of those things was. I always wanted to attend a fucking symphony. 
So I just said, fuck it a few nights ago. And I took my goddess to a symphony and that's what we did. So John, that was the uh, roadhouse for the week. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. For the, really for the, uh, for the, for the, for the, for the remainder of my week, for the remainder of my week, I, the, the only review I have is, is the review that, you know, we kind of all were, were there, excuse me, while we're there for yeah. that's me and Nikki, me and Nikki fucking buzzed. Like we screamed through fucking, um, uh, kaleidoscope. We actually watched the whole thing this week. And I know you guys, uh, both of you guys, uh, also, uh, watched it and have not, is, am I correct? You guys have not completed it. Is that correct, Joe? You guys have not correct. completed kaleidoscope yet. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. So, Okay. <sighs> I have like, I have like three different, I have like three different reviews to give for Kaleidoscope because one is probably going to be for the story itself. Like the actual, like actual story. Two is probably going to be for like the, the acting and the freaking. Yeah. I have a lot to say about that too. And then the third is probably going to be for the gimmick, being able to watch it in functionally any order if you so choose. Right. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> for the gimmick, I'm going to start off with a good for the gimmick. I'm going to give it fucking an absolute like easy fucking passing fucking eight out of 10. That is a fucking that is, it was, it worked. The gimmick worked. It, it kept us kind of into, into the show where if it had been like a regular show, we probably would have fucking tuned out at some point. You know what I mean? Like, or, or possibly like gotten bored with it or whatever. Um, it kept us, it kept us fucking going basically. Um, I'm not gonna lie. The gimmick, the gimmick, fucking work. The gimmick, absolutely. <laughs> Jesus, John, are you okay, dude? Yeah, just uh, you know, are you blasting? Are you blasting lines of fucking coke off the fucking goddamn toilet again, dude? Like, what are you doing? No, no, no coke for 2023. That's 2025. <laughs> oh, you wait. You're gonna wait two years and then and then and then, and then fucking and then blaze some rails, dude. Like, and, then, and, and then and then and then re, and then relapse. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag life goals for fucking for fucking 2025 <laughs> anyways yeah so like the get the gimmick 100 percent worked so like as far as like keeping me into a tv show that i normally may or may not have watched may or may not have given too much of a fuck about that work that part fucking absolutely worked for me absolutely worked um for the story and and the acting there was a lot to be there was a lot left to be desired and i'll say that just kind of like I'll try not to give too much away, but the story and the acting like kind of disappointed me a little bit with this morning, movie. Jason. I I, expe I expected a lot fucking more, and like 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 this this really for me this really kind of only worked because it was a gimmick. It wasn't the worst fucking TV show, but oh man, if they if it hadn't been for the gimmick, I probably wouldn't have. I don't know if I would have finished it, like just based on the story and the acting. Yeah. I, there was some, there was some extreme idiocy in this fucking, in the story. I, and I'll try not to give anything away for the people that haven't watched it, but there was some extreme idiocy and like the, the heist itself and like everything. It... Let me just put it this way. The, some of the, some of the characters in this fucking TV show are the kind of people that get you killed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, like I mean, Bob. Yeah. Bob, Bob is just, Bob, Bob is like, like, Bob. <laughs> Doesn't fucking belong in this fucking TV show, dude. Like, mother, like, like he fucks. I get. He's one of those. He's the. He's the fucking. He, he's the fucking dude that they get. He's fucked. such a good character too. Yeah, he, he's the guy that gets you killed. He's he's the reason you get sent. He's the reason you get benched and you go to jail. Like that is like and 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 for him to be in on a fucking heist of this magnitude, you know, it's like no, it, it wasn't good. No, that doesn't work for that story because if, if a heist of that magnitude. You don't, you don't, you don't get guys like Bob on your crew because guys like Bob are the reason shit fails a lot. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, uh, that by itself, that kind of like nosedive me a little bit, but because of the gimmick, right? Because of the gimmick, we finished it and we like, we, 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 we chopped through it almost. I think it was like two, two nights, two nights. We fucking like, we sliced and diced that fucking TV series. And it, it, it worked. It worked at times. I, I overall I, I want to say I kind of enjoyed it, but it's gonna get it's gonna get a fucking very like half mass like fucking five of ten from Jay, so five, five Jay's giving it a fucking five of ten, 
I don't know exactly which. How was your guys' experience with? So, that? like, I want to hear. I want to hear this from you guys. <laughs> I, I. So you said you got three left, right, Squillini? Yeah. Yeah. What order are you watching it in? So I'm doing the Tarantino order, which is a good order. I heard it was a really good order. And I'm a Tarantino I, fan, and that's, I, that's the that's that's the exact order I, I I watched it in. That is the exact order I watched it in. So, and I mean, I'll say even even though I haven't completed it yet, I would agree with Jay on a lot of the points he touched on. Um, and actually, I would agree with the rating even also. Um, yeah, just because the gimmicks, what's got me stuck watching it, it's. N- the acting subpar, the character development, and eh. you know, there's there's some aspects of it we're that talking are- about, dude, we're talking about robbing seven billion dollars from from some very bad people. If you're gonna if you're gonna run a job like that during a storm, if you, dude, if you're gonna run a job like that, like I'm talking about like operational planning here. You know what I mean? Like, like you know, we're, we, we we've all been in the military. We're talking about operational planning. So this is usually something like the officer side does. But as you as you go further and further into your uh, military career on the enlisted side, eventually you start learning about operational planning. Um, what's the name of the guy? What's the name of the main the main dude? Um, uh, 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 John Carlo Esposito's character. Uh, yeah. So he he did he kind of like holds a lot of the weight, you know, in his rucksack on this fucking TV show, right? Like as far as like he he is a good enough actor that he kind of like pulls this fucking show along. But him as a Ray, character, Ray Vernon. As a as a character as a character, oh my God! Would you, like like you're if you're planning a seven billion dollar heist and you're robbing very bad people while doing it, like holy shit, dude! Like you need better planning. Like the, the like all the fucking operational planning was just fucked in half in this fucking TV show. Now do you part. now now do you think if watching it in a different order might give you a different perspective of that? Well, now that I've already seen it, I'm 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 curious to maybe. I'm curious to almost watch it in reverse order, sequentially, sequentially in reverse order. Mm, that's interesting. That's I'm like watching it. I'm watching like, it in Rook G Bib. And again, and it, yeah, and again, I want to say like that's where the gimmick works. That's the only that's that that is where the gimmick fucking works. Is like I I might actually give this a, a rewatch only because I can watch it in a different order and just yeah. like how it goes backwards. I might give it like. Two or, give it like two or three months. Let's you know let let some of the, the the finer details like wander from my fucking brain like everything else. You know what I mean? And then I might watch yeah. it like in reverse order, like in se- sequentially reverse order, just to see like, it, yeah. That but 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 the, we'll I, dude, the acting and, sucks. Dude, the, like aside from the main character, dude, like the acting sucks. Fuck, they oh and Bob and Bob, fucking Bob, yeah. But yeah. I mean, Bob. but see, that's the thing is. It's it's definitely got a five out of ten for me, but because of the gimmick, you know, in three months I can go back and watch it in a different fucking order, and it might give you a whole different perspective, right? And you know, in three months I might come back and be like, yeah, I watched Kaleidoscope again. I did it, you know, in sequential order this time, and now my ratings changed from a five to a seven. Um, you know, it just. The gimmick gives it that rewatchability because you can watch it in so many different combinations of orders that even if you think one order sucks, you might give another order a shot to see if it's any different. I would be I would be so stoked if they made a TV show with a similar gimmick, but if they had it on the the writing and the acting on the level of like dark. Yes, like I would fucking yeah yeah so. I feel like- so- Take, take, take my money on that one. Take my money so, on that one. So for me, I'm a big Jai Courtney fan. So when I saw him as Bob, I was like, this is great. But after right. learning more about the character, I couldn't agree more that this is not a character that should be in this show. This guy deserves a different type, to be in a different type of show. Um, when I watch a heist show, and it's funny too that Dylan Mason says this, he says it wasn't really about the heist, it was about more who screwed who over, which is which is the underscore for me, you know? Which is which is what kills it for me. You know what I mean? Because same, same. Because again, if you're planning a seven billion dollar heist, you can't get a team together that are all looking to screw each other over. And they're all and they're all and it's they're all emotional. Does, oh, so, God, yeah. Every single character, every single character is a damn tragedy. 
Okay. <laughs> and, you know, it, it, it almost reminds me of Death Stranding, to be honest with you, how everyone just has a bad fucking story. And, you know, and, and, and again, I love Jai Courtney. Give him a different role in this show. To be honest with you, I... <sighs> I probably would have liked to have seen. I've. I, I'll get. I'll get into what I would like to have seen next week. Since, but, okay. Concept, fantastic. Right. Fantastic concept. You can watch it in, in any fucking way. Acting. I am s the only person who, who made me believe what was going on was John Carlo Esposito. Thank you. Bob. Bob was a. Bob was a comical relief for the show, which really helped because you need comedy. Drop comedy. It it did, but but he was such a fuck up. Like, like he can't, yeah, yeah. Can't have a fuck up on a fucking. Set that, that's night. what doesn't. And that's what. That's why there's no story because right. yeah, you, you. It goes back what twenty four years, but at the same time, why is Bob so fucking stupid? Okay. Yeah. Oh, now, yeah. the re, now the rest of the actors, they. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The, I I could, I did not believe a lick of anything. I I felt no emotion from the acting. It was just like it was John Carlo Esposito with Tiger Bomb holding ho make hold it holding the whole fucking thing. You know, get, give me give me some. Yeah. Give, I think that now everyone get all an all star cast. Oh, it's too much. I think that this show would have worked with an all star cast. Okay, I I'm gonna. I don't think so, and I'll tell you why. Because even with better acting and better actors in general, the 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 writing for me was all the writing. Wrong. The writing was the writing was but yeah. Again, again, you don't put fuck ups on a goddamn fucking seven billion dollar heist crew. The yeah. oper the operational planning alone is where it lost me. And then some. And then as you guys maybe I don't know which episodes you guys have or haven't seen at this point, but like yeah, that's the crazy part. Have you guys? Have the, you guys? Okay, have you seen the? Have you seen? The heist episode yet? I've not seen White yet. Okay, well, then we'll 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 finish we'll finish this review next week. And also, I want to uh, uh, plug for next week's episode. We are going to be going over the the Last of Us, John. Is that yep, fair? yep, yep, yep. And we've them, war warned them too. Yeah, we we will be we we will be providing week by week spoilers on the Last of Us. Uh, starting tonight, starting we're 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 all three gonna gonna watch it tonight. We'll yep. update, you know, next week for The Last of Us and see how, how we're liking it or how it's progressing. And, um, and but we will be doing spoilers. So fucking be prepared that we will, week by week, be spoiling episodic breakdowns on, on The Last of Us. So I'm be, and I'll be looking for Easter eggs, you know, we'll look for little, we'll look for, for con continuity oh, errors because, you know, HBO always has continuity errors. Just some little giblets. Just some little giblets. Wasn't part of the Last of Us filmed uh, in Kansas City? Wasn't part I, of it. I think it was. Shit, we need to look that up. We need to look I think up. it was. And now I fucking love it, dude. I'm, and I'm, 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 I'm city, dude. It, listen, it's great. And it's, you know, I, I okay. And it's that funny too because now we're gonna get into news, right? Okay. Let's. So before we get into like some of the gamer news, I, we have a couple sports news. I want to leave the football thing. I want. I want to hang you hang on to that for a second, okay? I'm gonna try. Uh, because that one is way better than the news I'm going to talk about. Um, have you have you guys been following anything that's been happening with WWE? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I I saw I just I saw a very small blurb this week that Stephanie McMahon stepped down as she left. Yep, he left. Vince McMahon came back. Vince McMahon, came, dude, like, so, dude. Okay, so it's weird that we're talking about this, but and and, and, and but but I think I want to bring a more personal touch to the show, but I think it's also that we should talk about something very important because we have a lot of veterans who are wrestlers and a lot of veterans who are wrestling fans as a whole. And the whole shift of professional wrestling is about to change if the rumors are true that Vince McMahon is selling the WWE to Saudi Arabia. And if it's true, that we're talking about a lot of changes. We're talking about um, possibly, most likely, the end of women's wrestling. Um, LGBTQ um, wrestlers and characters not being able to freely be who they are. Uh, Sami Zayn, who who religiously has not been allowed to go to Saudi Arabia, or like I don't know what the, I, he chose not to go, or they were, or he was asked not to go there because of his culture, uh, will most likely get fired. Um, 
you know, and for re- for wrestling, I use I still call myself a wrestling fan. I still go back to watch a couple of things. I think yeah. for the history that WWE has had, I think this is probably the biggest fucking slap in the face to yeah the biggest fuck you to not not only your not only the employees but to the fans as well like this is this is this kind of shit is you remember when that fucking journalist got fucking killed in the fucking in in, in the embassy yeah and they fucking just walked out with his body and fucking parts you know what i mean like yeah that's saudi arabia you guys remember 911 fucking like how many of the fucking hijackers were from Saudi Arabia. Arabia. Like, you don't fucking, you, you don't deal with bad people in good faith. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, here, here at GD214 Gaming, we are, we are absolutely all inclusive. We are full American. And, and that includes if you're from Saudi Arabia. Okay, right? But when you're, when the, the, the ruling class and the ruling party or the rich people or whoever has the fucking money start making these fucking like backroom deals and it, and it comes at the cost and expense of freedom or fucking workers rights or civil rights for fucking humanity. Okay. We have a big fucking problem with that. We don't do fucking fascism here. That's, that's, that's that, right. that, is, that is basically just fascism covered up with money. Okay. That's right. It's, fucking, it's called, it's called slavery with extra steps. That's okay. right. That's and and fucking... guys, it's, it's, oh, it's only up to you guys to speak your voice and to bullshit. You know, because we're talking, we, we don't do fucking fascism here. That's why we don't. Yep. It's, we don't fucking do fascism here. I want to let everybody know that. We don't care what side of the political spectrum you're on, whether it's fucking left or right. Okay. We don't care what your religious background, your, your skin color is here, your fucking sexual orientation. You guys are all fucking welcome. But one thing we will never, never, never fucking have here. Okay. Is fascism. Okay. We don't so, fucking do fascism. So honestly, I'm just going to no, say no. now our thoughts and prayers are to the WWE. <laughs> Straight up. No, like, you know. No fucking shit. Yeah. Damn. Good God, man. It's a bad situation. If it's true, I mean, but and now, football, you guys could take the lead for this one about what happened yesterday. Joe, did you watch Did, did you watch any football yesterday, Joe? I didn't watch any of it yesterday. I, I'm going to highly recommend. There's a game starting in about 30 minutes. Watch some fucking football today, dude, because the fucking Niners, the Niners Seahawks game was good, but not the you know, the outcome was not unexpected, okay? The goddamn fucking Chargers and fucking Jaguars game, dude. Like I'm gonna try to be nice here because the Chargers are in <laughs> my the Chargers are in my team's division, okay? I'm gonna try to be nice here. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not trying to fucking shit on the Chargers, but oh my god, did they charge it up fucking yesterday. The score was fucking 27 to nothing with about a minute left in the first half. Okay? Mm-hmm. The final score was fucking Jaguars 31, Chargers fucking 30. Like the goddamn Jaguars went yeah. I fucking tear in the second half. The, dude, the char- the char- the, er, the Chargers picked off the Jaguars quarterback four fucking times in the first half. Four. I have never heard of a quarterback get picked off four fucking times in a game and fucking win. Like, and the Chargers scored points. All, like, the, the Chargers had points that, you know, they basically converted the, the interception to touchdowns. You know what I mean? Like, they yeah. they, they scored yeah. points off these inter... It was 27 to fucking nothing. And it was 27 to 7 at the half. And the Chargers, like, absolutely... Like, we're talking one of the all-time face plants in playoff history. Which, by the way... I'll be nice. The Kansas City Chiefs in a playoff game about 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 ten years ago, fucking were ahead by twenty eight points in the third in like halfway through the third quarter, and we lost to the Colts. So I ha- I have seen that happen to my team personally, but like to watch it happen in real time last night, I was like, oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god, oh shit, this is happening. And then when 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 that, that is happened, wild. When the dude, when the Jags kicked that fucking last field goal, it was like I lost my shit, dude. I was like, oh my, like I, I, I got, I, I got kind of live, dude. In the, in the, in the bar we were at, dude. I was like, holy shit, he fucking. You shit. have to be. He fucking did it, like, oh my god, like it was, it was exciting. It was exciting, and it was, it was fun to watch. Yeah, the Chargers, dude, like epic all time playoff fucking face plan, dude. Like that was, holy fuck. 
I'm actually I'm actually gonna I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and say I'll Let's watch today. My team doesn't play till tomorrow night. Who's your t- Cowboys? That's okay. That's okay. So expect, go. We're all inclusive me to here. Come in. We're all inclusive. Me to come in next week. Extremely we're, pissed the fuck off, Joe. Joe, we we're all inclusive here. We that includes Cowboys fans. It's not your fault. Okay, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You are the way you are. Okay. Okay. God still loves you. Jesus loves you, Joe. Okay. I just want to let you know, Jesus still loves you. <laughs> and by the way, I don't think you're going to be coming in pissed. I think you guys are going to have your first playoff win but in, see, quite, in quite some time. That's my not not where I was about to go with it. Right now, like all the sports statistic people and all the fucking you guys aren't everywhere out there. You guys, you guys has us has us winning by like a fucking touchdown or some shit against Tampa. Oh, well, you 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 guys are you guys are going to win that game. I like I'm I'm literally going to put it up right now. If you're if you're a gambler, bet on Dallas on Monday, dude. Like they're not losing they're not losing that game to Tampa Bay, dude. They're not. Like that's not, it's it's not now, you know. Like they, they now, Dallas is not the fucking Chargers, okay? And I'm, I'm with Madden right now, actually. See, <laughs> see here's the thing. Here's Dallas the thing. is not um, the Chargers. What Dallas does is we screw the pooch during the first half, and then we come in like Jacksonville, and we fuck you up in the second half. Um, that's what we're good for. Like we'll let you run the fucking board up for the first two quarters, mm-hmm. and then. Tire yourselves out. Remember Jerry Jones says to the team in the fucking locker room at halftime. Yep. <sighs> yep. Has the team come back out pissed off, fucking ready to go, throwing fucking, fucking punches. Fucking full, full of fucking piss and vinegar and just fucking ready to, like, stomp, stomp on the fucking football. Now, right? next weekend, next weekend's the weekend where if if we go to the next round, next weekend we're, th- we're going to be against the Eagles. Fly Eagles, fly! It's fly already away. been said. I want to spend a, a spe- send a special shout out to uh, my brother uh, Bobby. Uh, he's one of my best friends that I ever had in the army. Uh, he, was, he was my roommate. Fucking our our friend Chris Bodet knows him very well. Um, he he he's a he's a, a a avid listener of the podcast, but he listens a few days later usually. Just want to say, fucking me me and him have been playing DMZ lately, and I just want to spend, send us a very special shout oh, out, to Bobby, that dude. Bobby, that's Bobby, man. That's my boy. So he's a he's a you Eagles, know he's a huge Eagles fan. Like this guy, this guy would get on top of a fucking. Table. That's right. I was I was dogging him we, for that. We used to do. We used to go to Buffalo Wild Wings at Fort Leonard Wood, and watch <laughs> football like and watch oh, fucking God, football. The amount of fucking this dude, of beer I drink at that Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> Christ, dude, look, dude, this guy is this guy is the most rabid rabid fucking Eagles fan. He would get on top of a fucking table in Buffalo Wild Wings. And fucking do like the Eagles fight song when they score, like it. The, the man is insane. Okay, like you, you think you think Jay's crazy, dude? Like he's fucking insane, dude. Like when it comes to football. Shit, there's like, someone who broke the scale, dude. And yeah. well, and and Joe, I I'm I, I'm telling you, Joe, like bet on Dallas on Monday. They're not. Do not expect Dallas to fucking collapse like fucking San Diego. I don't see it happening. I do not. See I it don't. Happening. I don't either. I see it being a close game, but and at the Eagles same time. Tom Brady, Tom Brady ain't fucking Tom Brady anymore, homie. He's fucking like forty. Exactly. Fucking, he's like forty-five fucking years old. If he takes one bad hit in that game, dude, it's over. It's over. Like, mm-hmm. and I, and I'm telling you, Dallas is gonna fucking bring it. Do not, do yeah. not bet. Do not bet against Dallas this weekend. I'm telling now, you right now. Eagles, right. when when we go against the Eagles next week, that's a different game. That's a whole different. That's a whole different enchilada. It that's can go. Another. That game can go fucking either way. Just due to the fact that most of the Eagles' starting fucking line is still IR. That's yeah. That's and they, yeah. There's other questions that are yeah. We'll we'll see on that one. But to, for against Tampa Bay, dude, like Tom Brady's yeah. going out, dude. Tom Brady's going out, dude. Like he, he, this is probably going to be one of his. He he might go somewhere next year as like a fucking uh, what do you call that? Like a like a carnival. Like you know he might bring the the Tom Brady carnival to like another another city next year. But like, another team, get them yeah, one ring, and then one, fucking take one, it. One more fucking, one more year. You know, the the, the Tom Brady retirement t- tour or whatever. Like, he's not, he's going out in the first round this year, folks. Like, fucking bet it. They fucking, do, 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 you, do you know when, when he, when the Buccaneers beat uh, the Chiefs in the Super Bowl a couple of years ago? That was, yeah. the, that was the first game that Patrick Mahomes played for the Chiefs that the, that the Chiefs did not score a touchdown. Like, no shit. Like, that was the first yeah. game 
in Patrick Mahomes' career that the Chiefs didn't at least score a touchdown when he played. Like, yeah, like wow. that ain't that's that ain't happening Monday. Okay, that ain't fucking happening Monday. I promise you. Okay, do not expect some Tom Brady fucking miracle on Monday because it ain't fucking happening. Okay, don't care who you are, don't care where you're from, don't care if you love him or you hate him. Tom Brady is not winning on Monday, dude. Like, watch, fucking mark my words. Okay, um, bet on now. Bet on the Cowboys. And now for our news, and we got actually some really good news, really good news this week to close off the show. Um, first off. Mother Gear Solid Insider leaks reveal of a PS5 remake for the original trilogy. If you guys are fit for Metal Gear Solid. Oh, Metal Gear. <clears throat> okay, maybe. I mean, go ahead, John. Go ahead. I, look, go ahead. the only reason why I like remasters and remakes is because I get to play the game in high definition. And I actually get to see what the fuck is going on. Only reason. Do I want... Because or look, play, or you can play in VR probably now. I I don't know. I have to look for that. That would be a great update. But remember, guys, Hideo Kojima will no longer release a Metal Gear Solid game, so there's no reason to play a new Metal Gear Solid game when you could just play the old ones all over again. Oh, you mean you play the old ones with like the actual discs that you have to have? You used to listen. My favorite Metal Gear Solid was Snake Eater, and uh, that was like that was. Sons of Liberty was good, but Snake Eater was, to me, the best one. OG. OG Metal Gear Solid. PlayStation. Literally. First one. First one where it was four fucking discs, and then, you and know, you had to fucking swap the controller from port one to port two, and dude, did you get to switch out the fucking discs? They had different endings, too. And, yep. like, I remember I got the ending because, like, I wasn't able to, like, hold up during, like, torture. So, like, the girl died, and, like... The ending I got was like the most homoerotic ending I've ever seen in my life, dude. It was like Snake and like Snake and like the like nerd, like the computer nerd. And they were like, you they were like on a snowmobile together and just like chuckling and like, ha, we made it. It was so homoerotic, dude. It was like, yeah. <laughs> man, I wish I'd held up better under torture. You know, like I wish that chick could fucking. Survive. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that, I mean, so I'd like to play Metal Gear. I mean, give me Snake Eater again. Uh, Dylan Mason says, don't forget, DD214 has a server in Minecraft. Anyone can join thanks to Jason. Jason Gasses. Yeah, thank you, Jason Gasses. Absolutely. Thank you. We're going to, we're going to need more information on that. Next in our news, um, the new Xbox family tier looks like it's going to be released this month. What this means is that instead of game sharing with your family and your friends, mm -hmm. you can just have a family tier, which is like $10 more, and you can have up to five people in your family playing. You get to share your games, and you get to play with each other, and no one gets kicked off in any of that stuff. Um, I think this is a win for subscription services for Xbox. Um, I, I think it's the best way to do it. Go ahead. So... You, yeah, Before Jay goes on his fucking wild right here. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say, out of all the subscriptions out there, that Game Pass is by far probably one of the best subscription services anybody can have. I agree with that. I agree. Um, with that. and okay, I can see if I have to pay ten dollars more a month, so instead of fifteen dollars for Game Pass a month, paying twenty five. For a family tier. That way, everybody has their own Xbox Live accounts. Everybody, you're not having to worry about somebody fucking up your own save data on a fucking game. Shit like that. It's, it's, it's something that would work. And that I can see some people like myself who are very particular about my game saves. Paying for. However, it is another fucking cash. Is it, is it for, can you use different Xboxes? Or does it all have to be on yeah. the Xbox? At different Xboxes. I could see if I was going to pay $10 extra a month, I would do it for the homies. You know, like my homie that fucking, you know, like put him on my plan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like if it's, well, that money that, if, if it's on the same Xbox in the same household, fuck no, bro. Fuck no. Like, yeah. like fuck no. Yeah. No, Sep separate Xboxes, separate accounts. And I, and I apologize. Joe, Joe, please continue. I will be right back. I apologize, guys. Well, see, and that's the thing. Like, you know, yeah, there's that too. Like, if I can say, you know, I've got a buddy that's a little bit down on his luck at that moment or something and isn't able to afford the $15 a month. Yeah. I can pay an extra 10 bucks. I've got, you know, five people I can add to this motherfucker. I just say, hey, 
let me add you to my fucking family plan, add you in, you're good to go. Um, that's the good, that's definitely an upside to it. Yeah. Because now, you know, my buddies who I want to talk new games that have come out, but they can't afford Game Pass. Like, say, I want to talk about High on Life with a friend, and they don't have fucking High on Life because they're too broke to buy the game, and they don't have Game Pass, so they can't play it. Now I can say, hey, I just added you to my fucking family playing. Fucking download the fucking game, you pussy. Yeah. It's too easy. I mean, this. I mean, for 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 a guy like me who has a big family, it would be it would be very beneficial for for us, and that could actually make their own accounts for them and shit like that, and not even have to worry about it. Yeah, and and that's my. But thing. still, like, like, I like can have a big family, but but you know, at least that way, because the fiance has some games she likes to play on the Xbox every once in a while, and you know, that way she can have her own Xbox account, and. Instead of having to pay thirty dollars a month for two Game Pass subscriptions and live and all that, I'm only paying twenty five. So I'm saving five bucks doing it that way. It's really more beneficial once you hit that three, four, five user, because if you're only adding one more person, you're only saving five bucks. Yeah. But if you've got you know two people to add or three people to add or four people, then you're saving a lot of fucking money because instead of paying almost fucking $150 a month for each person to have their own individual subscription to it, you're paying 25 Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, what they here? Ramon says, if y'all are into anime, but that time I got reincarnated in as a slime is coming out with a movie starting the 19th. So if you guys are into that style, make sure you guys check that out. I actually know a few people who are actually telling me, who, who was I, talking uh, about that recently? I, my oldest, my oldest daughter, my oldest daughter, who uh, actually just turned just turned eleven this week. Actually. Happy so, birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, baby! Freaking fucking a. Uh, she she got me into a, an anime called uh, Demon Slayer, and that's on uh, Netflix. one of the most popular ones. Yeah, yeah, it, it's very popular and it's it's pretty fucking cool. And I'm I'm, yeah. I'm I'm working my way through it. Like I'm I'm working my way through it. You know, trying to uh trying to trying to do that whole like you know bonding bonding thing, right? Like you know, trying to like. Cause like I, I love I, I loved anime a long long time ago you know like my I remember Akira and Akira and Ghost in the Shell and uh, motherfucking uh, Yasha fucking Ninja Scroll you know a uh, 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 demon 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 hunter was it Demon Hunter no God damn it uh, Vampire Hunter excuse me Vampire Hunter D yeah. Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust remains Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust remains to this day one of my all time favorite movies not anime one of my all time favorite movies period. And if you haven't seen that, it's it's a sequel, but you don't need to see the uh, you don't need to see you don't need to see the uh, the first one. Previous, yeah. You can literally watch it standalone as its own movie, and yeah, Va Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust, to this day, standalone like one of my favorite movies of all time. Like, By the way, I know Joe Scalini won't hear me, but nice butt crack. <laughs> oh shit, Joe! Fucking goddamn, fucking. Uh, go ahead. So yeah, so Sorry, the next. Ahead. So the next, and this is actually the new, this is the latest, the last piece of news that we have here. This is going to be like a good seven minute conversation. So we have a lot of Microsoft games coming out, do we not? We do. We have a lot of games coming out to Game Pass. We have a lot of stuff. Um, Almost the full moon. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Fucking A. Fuck so... Okay, so we know Redfall's coming out. We know Replaced is coming out. Starfield. Uh, we talking about Starfield. We, talking, still haven't, we, we keep talking about Starfield, and we still haven't fucking seen anything, have we? I really, I really, I really, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually, you, hang on, put your seatbelt on, JP, because I have news for you regarding Starfield. I was going to say, like, I, I'm, I'm hoping in my heart of hearts this game works for you. Yeah, you know, but I know you, you of all people have been, like, waiting You've been yeah, for it, you 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 you're you're one of those gamers that like you're you're looking for 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 the game to give you yeah. You know, Actually, well, when I br right when I bring up Starfield, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna bring up footage. I'm gonna pull up footage from the game while I'm talking about Starfield. But Starfield is last, so we know all these games are coming out. Okay, by the way, Squirrelini, your butt crack was super shiny when you got up, my friend. So we have Starfield coming out. It's a really nice butt crack, isn't it? 
you're living up <laughs> you're, you're living up your MOS, dude. Like I'm just saying. Like <laughs> I love you, dude. I love you so much. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is about to come out. Harry seven. But um Microsoft is not covering that game because they're having a new panel, a separate panel for they're having a complete separate panel for their Microsoft games. And what this is, is we have Redfall. We have Forza. Mike, is, is that the driving? Is that the driving game? Yeah. It's another a, racing game. It is one. Of, it is the most anticipated racing game right now. Because so you can be able to play that in VR. Oh, yeah. You could play Forza in VR now. <laughs> go, go, go. I apologize, Joe. What were you going to say? I was going to say, Forza's, you know, Xbox is equivalent to Gran Turismo. But it's really, yeah. it's a good game though, right? Like, people like mm -hmm. really like, Forza, get, get fucking hard over it and shit. Like, yeah, Forza's you know, amazing. Probably like 8,000 hours across all the Forza games. You? You do? Are you serious? I have a couple, I have a couple thousand hours under it myself too. I love, I, the Forza right. games are amazing. Holy fuck. The Forza games are amazing. There's they do like a really good job. of them at this point, Jay. Yeah, for only thirty games. You guys got hours. You guys got hours in these games. Like I got hours in the field, bro. Like, yeah, but the motorsports series is probably the best series out of all the Forza games, and we're coming into number seven now, which is super, which is super anticipated. I, like, I can imagine that. Yeah, I think the last one. When did? Let me see. Four. When, when, when is it supposed to drop, John? When is it? When uh, is it we're drop? we're gonna get that information um, January twenty fifth. Horizon 5 is the last Forza game and, that came out, and that was like... And 6 came out in 2015. Motorsport 6 came out in 2015. Okay? It is 2023, though. We are finally getting number 7. Damn. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That sounds like, for, for, for all you... For all you freaking race car junkies, dude, like, that like, that sounds like... Hey, you're, gonna, you're gonna be playing it, too. Watch. You're gonna be playing it, too. I, I bet you. Because it's coming straight to Game Pass, baby. Oh, no shit? Forza, Forza oh, is... Uh, can you crash? Can you crash? Hell yeah, you can crash. If you can drive, well, you like, can crash. Like, and, I can, and we like play with each other. Like You can like crash and you can buddy to fuck his... Yeah, if you... You know what? Or like if I'm playing with you, and there's like another dude on the fucking track that's a fucking asshole... I could like fucking like crash yeah. into him to like yep. help you, basically. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. In fact, oh. in fact, I'm actually gonna download Forza Forza Horizon, which I'm not a fan. What how come? Oh wait, I have Motorsport Six. I think I like the Horizon games, dude. What was that game back in the day where like you had to like fucking make the biggest like car crash, and you would get like burnout, oh, out. burnout. Out. Yeah, dude. Do you remember this? Burnout. Out. How could how, how could how could anybody forget the bird out series? It's like fucking go as fast as you can and just like eat fucking shit into like the biggest pile of cars that possible and like create the biggest like havoc of a fucking car wreck scene, you know, and like get 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 money for like da damages, you know, like it's just so like the last the last official Forza game, which is Horizon Five, came yeah. out November 9th of twenty one. Um. Now, there's a difference between Forza Motorsports and the Horizon series. Yeah, uh, yeah, I do have Forza so, Motorsports 6. So the Horizon series is more of a, like, street racing. Yeah, which is like great. Heat it's for speed, street racing type of thing. Um, Car show, just, it, it's it's really fun, too. Um, And then Motorsports is more track racing. Yep, I'm downloading Motorsport 6 right now. Not fucking the round, homie. Don't be on it. Sell me on it, John, when it comes out. Sell me on it, and we'll, uh... We'll Number 7? We'll have we'll have some fun. But I'll, I'll, just, I'll just stream it on DD214. That's what I'm gonna do. I, dude, I'll get in there with you, dude, and I'll fuck up everybody on that fucking track except for you, dude. Like, give fucking... Give, give John the fucking V, dude. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, all right. So now we can talk about Starfield, okay? Uh-oh. Careful, everybody. Fucking John's dick is already fucking hard. That's getting right. Ready, We're getting ready to fucking talk about Starfield. Here's Starfield news, everybody. And don't and don't worry and don't worry about it, guys, because this is not going to take long. This is actually revealing that at the Xbox, at the Microsoft event, Starfield won't be there because Starfield is going to have a whole separate panel just for Starfield. So it is going to be there. It's just not going. to... Wait, what? 
it's going to be a separate presentation. So we have... We're, we're the one to look at you, Todd. Yeah, Todd, get the fuck out of here. Nobody likes you, fucking Todd. Fucking Todd. Fucking Todd, you get the fuck out of our fucking shit, dude. Like, nobody likes you. Go away. All right, so Microsoft has officially announced that there will be a grand showcase at January 25th covering a number of different games. One, however, is missing, and that would be Starfield, and Bethesda was quick to come out and say the reason that Starfield wouldn't be at the showcase was that it would eventually get its own dedicated showcase. There is no date for this yet, but if everything is looking, if the timeline looks correct, with Redfall possibly coming out in April, we're either going to get Starfield either within the next couple weeks, or we're going to get it in the summer. Holy shit. Um, it, so it's, happening. Gonna, it's fucking it, happening. Yeah, it, we're going to get it. The, it's coming out this, this year. Is this motherfucker going to be on Game Pass? It's, it's, it is an Xbox Microsoft exclusive title. <laughs> is it yep. going to be on Game Pass? Fucking weird. It's going to be on Game Pass. I'm, Jay might actually play some fucking games this year. How about that? There's a lot of good games. Now, there's a... There's a is 2023 going to be better than 2022? Because I'm hurting. I, really, so. I, I would really hope. I would really. I kind of need a win. I kind of need a win this year. You, you want me to convince you of something, Jay? You want to yeah. know why you should get? You want to know why you should get this game? Tell me, please. If I could find it. Give me a re. Give me a reason to have hope, John. You could instead build, of all the, instead of all the hate and discontent. You could hurt, build. Hurt, you, hurt, you, could, you could build your ship. Okay. And you could fly through different vast areas of space. And here comes the best part. Dog fighting. No fucking way. Here we go. Look at that. Flying through the fucking regions of space. Dog fighting. Holy fucking shit. Fuck All right. Shit. <laughs> Yo, I grew up I grew up playing fucking PC fucking like airplane simulators. Dude, I will fuck you up in a dog fight. I'll fuck anybody up in a dog fight, dude. I know what the fuck I know what the fuck the fucking the 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 the, the flying S, you know what I mean? Fucking like I know fucking I know my I know my fucking maneuvers. All right, pitch and y'all. You know, y'all motherfuckers don't know nothing about pitch and y'all. Okay, I do. Yeah. All right. So, so Dylan Mason S, so is it like Star Citizen then? The concept is exactly like Star Citizen. It's exactly like No Man's Sky. It's No Man's Skyrim, okay? That's what no Starfield is going to be, okay? No man to Skyrim. No, no yeah. man to Skyrim job. No man to Skyrim job. Right? Yeah. Like, that's just a spinoff of Star Trek. No, you, hey, you know what? Let's, we could all laugh about it because we all know what Starfield is. Starfield is literally, gonna, and we all know we're going to play it too. So yeah, Star, like, Starfield yeah, is literally. Bethesda always sucks us into their games. You want to know what Starfield is, guys? Starfield is you being that little kid playing with your fucking Star Wars toys and your jets and looking up at the sky in the middle of the night and seeing all those stars and saying, I want to go up there one day. That's what Starfield is. Starfield is about exploration. Starfield is about finding yourself through survival, through other regions of unknown worlds. Bethesda has never done anything like this before, and I couldn't be more excited for this game to come out, guys. Starfield... Man... I don't know what else to say about it, guys, but hopefully, so, yeah. So I just want to add in that it also looks like it's a fucking space version of Skyrim meets fucking Starship Troopers. <sighs> Fuck. And I accidentally fucking activated the voice mod. Yeah, I, I thought you did that on purpose. I thought you did too. I was like, what voice was that? Was that, was that Stephen Hawking? Like well, like well, what was, oh, shit. what was the voice on that? Like, what, yeah. What, so I. <laughs> so yeah, guys. I mean, Starfield is going to be a fantastic game, not, and not to take away from any of the other great games that are coming out this year, because there are a lot of titles coming out this year. But stay tuned, guys, because we're getting a Starfield reveal and a release date, hopefully by the beginning of next month. Fucking hey. Oh, Fuck around yeah. and find out. And that's the show, Jay, or Squilini, whoever wants to take it today. Squilini, you want to fucking uh, give the final thought? A fucking try? This is initiation. 
Also, I need you to tell me what nickname you want to be put on the intro video when it happens after episode 100. Or you guys can come up with a nickname for him. I've already, well, I've already got a new one for me. So it's, it's, a, you know, it's one of my actual nicknames, but we'll talk about that later. So. I feel honored to you. You little final thought. However, way to put me on the fucking spot. So that's what it is. You take it this week. I'll take it next week. Okay. We can do that. Okay. okay. That means he's getting ready. He's feeling ready. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All Me right. Again. So, well, guys, it's been uh, it's been another 168. I hope you guys have had a good week. I hope you guys all have a good week ahead. Okay? We want to um, always remind everyone, okay, especially in our veteran community, uh, family members of veterans, supporters of veterans, okay, we want to remind everybody, okay, that... Um, life is not always easy. Life is not static. It's very, very dynamic. Okay. So when, when moments of crisis or moments of extreme duress and stress occur, um, it is normal to have panicked reactions. Okay. What we don't want those panicked reactions to, to result in is a temporary solution or excuse me, a permanent solution to a temporary problem. All right. We want you guys to to stay uh, focused and steadfast in your in your in your own respective lives. Okay, the, the lives of your 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 family members, your friends. Okay, we need you here. We need you in the fight. Okay, if you need to if you need to take a knee and drink some water, fucking you need to do that and do it for yourself. Okay, do it for yourself first. Uh, as we've said many many times on this podcast, if the airplane is going down and all those little uh, Oxygen, oxygen masks freaking pop out. You got to put yours on first. You can't help anybody else out until you help yourself first. Okay. And for a little bit more of an altruistic uh, look at it, um, somewhere down the line, and it might not be tomorrow and it might not be next year. It might be like 10 or fucking 20 years later. Uh, somebody, somebody somewhere is going to need you and you can't, you're not going to be able to help them if you're not here. Okay. We love you guys very, very much. We appreciate you. We want to see you here. Okay. We want you guys to fight for yourselves every fucking day. Fight for yourselves. Fight to better yourself. Okay. A little bit every day. You don't have to fucking run a marathon every day. Okay. Take it fucking five minutes at a time if you have to. But take those five minutes to make yourself better every day. And in a year, in a week, and in a day, it adds up little by little by little. Okay. You will be so much farther down the road. There is so much out there that you haven't seen yet. Okay, I promise you, freaking the only secret to life is living to see another day. John, oh. Joe, you guys fucking, you guys are beautiful. I love you guys very, very much. Freaking, this is a, this is, this always like warms my heart on Sunday, dude. It's like coming to church, coming to church with the boys. You know what I mean? Like this warms my heart. Speaking I, of which, I, speaking of which, we've never had a, we've never had a woman as a guest on our podcast. We have not, and we need to change that. I think we do. I think we do. Yep. So we need to start, uh, I think we need to start uh, looking around to uh, to, to sit down. Find, find a, uh, a, actually, uh, funny, it's actually funny that you mentioned guests because, um, we well, Jason, Jason Guest is taking a time of leave right now, but he, me, I have, I'm being uh, open in as much conversation that I can with him at the moment while he's taking his leave, while he's transitioning into his home and stuff. But uh, he has some stuff for us regarding guests. Good. Two guests, actually. Um, that I would like to find a lady veteran, and I think I, I, I even might even have a couple in mind from from my own personal uh, time in the army. Talk but, to him, yeah. Bring yeah. him in, man. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to have a lady a lady veteran guest. Yeah, and and if any of you guys have friends too that you that you seriously, believe. seriously we're looking we're for we, we, we want we want veterans. That's what the know? show is. That's what this show is. We 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 bring guests on. We play games. We have a good time. It's like it's like going to a fucking barracks party fucking once a week, guys. All right. And you know we're gonna be here on Sundays live and we're on your fucking Jesus Christ, John, what is it? Anchor, Spotify, fucking Anchor, Spotify, Apple, YouTube, and iHeartRadio and Amazon. We're on all of them. Fucking hit us up, leave comments, leave suggestions, email okay. us. Team tell us how much we fucking suck. Like I can't wait to fucking hear it. So like hit us up, guys. We love you very much. John, Joe, fucking, I love you guys, dude. I fucking love you. 
See you in formation next week, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely.